Hi there and welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. Uh, so this uh, tutorial is dedicated once more to Lucas uh, Winkler, who is really the one who really helped me uh, finish uh, this tutorial. Um, and I would like as well to thank the Machina Corpus company who helped uh, me as well to understand a little bit more what OpenStreetMap is about. And I would like as well uh, to really thank uh, the guy who wrote this tutorial because it's really uh, helping you to get started with OpenStreetMap by giving you, uh, the let's say, your first map that you can simply copy and paste and then have your map up and running on your um, on your own server. So that's everything that I wanted to uh, to show you uh, for the, uh, let's say, um, um, the, the thank you part. Uh, regarding the tutorial in itself, uh, the idea is actually uh, to track with Matomo Analytics interaction which are going to happen on a given map, such as this one. Uh, basically, the click on the plus and the minus and the click on the marker. Uh, the main thing that I discovered is that uh, you cannot track uh, everything with Matomo uh, Tag Manager as I thought I could at the beginning. So if you just copy and paste uh, the given container in the head of the page, uh, what you could get is, of course, the, the page view and the fact that people are clicking on the map, but you could not uh, extract actually the information which are uh, within the map in itself, which is kind of uh, a pain if you would like, for example, to get the latitude and longitude to where the people clicked out and same stuff regarding the zoom that you have over here, you cannot interact with those with just uh, the tag manager. So uh, let's zoom a little bit on my map. Okay. Uh, so as you can see, I have some marker on my map and I would like actually to get those uh, value. So in order to get, in fact, the value uh, regarding the latitude and longitude of uh, the click made on the marker, so as the uh, zoom part here. Uh, what you need to know is that, um, let's say OpenStreetMap is using a library, which is called leaflet.js.com, and this is uh, within this given documentation that you can find all the different uh, methods that uh, you can uh, that you can call, such as get zoom, for example, which is the one telling you what is the current uh, zoom level of the map view, and of course to tell you if people just uh, zoom or not. So uh, in order to uh, make this work, what you need to do is that you need to identify within your source code when um, when the, let's say, when there is the definition, for example, here of the map, and then uh, you will need uh, to define this uh, given part over here. Okay, so here uh, you need to say, okay, I'm going <clears> to <throat> use an event listener, which is uh, here name uh, zoom start and then uh, when people will start to zoom I will execute a function which will act as an event listener and uh, which will say in fact uh, that um, that every time that this function will be used it's going to send to uh, Matomo Analytics uh, the given function. Oops, sorry, I think I think I got something, okay. Uh, this is what's gonna happen. So if someone uh, used the zoom, it's gonna send an event to Matomo Analytics, uh, indicating within zoom the result of the zoom, which is the level at which people uh, zoom that. So by adding it like this, in fact, what's gonna happen is that if someone is interacting with the zoom and going to the closest level that it could get, okay, something like this, Okay, here's the maximum. And if I look through uh, my Matomo Analytics account, I should see uh, the minimum level in terms of zoom. So an event has been pushed every time that it was interacting with the zoom. And this is what uh, we can see. We can see here down below. You see, I've been to the closest possible point of the map. And uh, the other part that uh, we may be interested about is uh, to push information where people are clicking on the marker and would like to get the latitude and longitude. And in fact, that's the given uh, line of codes that you can see over here. So marker.on click function, back push track event marker click and e dot latitude uh, longitude. And as a result, if you include those given line of code on uh, your map okay and that you so sorry that you unzoom and that you click like several times for example on paris so like uh, just click twice on it paris and then you can of course have those data sent to matomo 
and this is what we have over here you see those two those two data and that's uh, everything that i wanted to show you for today so in fact uh, here if you would like to send data to matomo so that's the easy part that's this one but then it's about the knowledge of the leaflet uh, js uh, library where you will need to understand how you can use those uh, different methods in order to just extract the data that you need in order to push it to matomo analytics and that's it uh, for today thanks for watching